Ancient Mesopotamian units of measurement originated in the loosely organized city-states of early dynastic Sumer. Each city, kingdom and trade guild had its own standards until the formation of the Akkadian Empire when Sargon of Akkad issued a common standard. This standard was improved by Naram-Sin, but fell into disuse after the Akkadian Empire dissolved. The standard of Naram-Sin was re-adopted in the Earth III period by the Nanshim which reduced a plethora of multiple standards to a few agreed upon. Common groupings Successes to Sumerian civilization including the Babylonians, Assyrians, and Persians continued to use these groupings. Akkado-Sumerian metrology has been reconstructed by applying statistical methods to compare Sumerian architecture, architectural plans, and issued official standards such as Statue B of Goody and the Bronze Cubit of Nippur. Archaic system The systems that would later become the classical standard for Mesopotamia were developed in parallel with writing during Uruk period Sumer. Studies of protocuneiform indicate 12 separate counting systems used in Uruk. Sexagesimal system S used to count slaves, animals, fish, wooden objects, stone objects, containers. Sexagesimal system S used to count dead animals, certain types of beer. By sexagesimal system B used to count cereal, bread, fish, milk products. By sexagesimal system B asterisk used to count rations. GAN2 system G used to count field measurement. Shea system S used to count barley by volume. Shea system S used to count malt by volume. Shea system S used to count wheat by volume. Shea system S asterisk used to count barley groats. N system E used to count weight. U4 system U used to count calendrics. Dub system DB used to count milk by volume. DUGC system DB used to count beer by volume. In early dynastic Sumer metrology and mathematics were indistinguishable and treated as a single scribal discipline. The idea of an abstract number did not yet exist. Thus all quantities were written as metrological symbols and never as numerals followed by a unit symbol. For example there was a symbol for one sheep and another for one day but no symbol for one. About 600 of these metrological symbols exist. For this reason archaic Sumerian metrology is complex and not fully understood. In general however, length, volume, and mass are derived from a theoretical standard cube called ger, filled with barley, wheat, water, or oil. The mass of a ger cube, called guntu, is defined as the weight a laden ass can carry. However, because of the different specific gravities of these substances combined with dual numerical bases, multiple sizes of the ger cube were used without consensus. The different girt cubes are related by proportion, based on the water girt cube, according to four basic coefficients and the cubic roots. These coefficients are given as comma equals correction when planning rations with a 360-day year. Lima equals conversion from decimal to a sexagesimal number system. Dezas equals euboic equals. 1. Official government standard of measurement of the archaic system was the cubit of Nippur. It is a euboic mana plus 1 dezas. This standard is the main reference used by archaeologists to reconstruct the system. Classical system. A major improvement came in 2150 BC during the Akkadian Empire under the reign of Naram-Sin when the competing systems were unified by a single official standard, the royal girt cube. His reform is considered the first standardized system of measure in Mesopotamia. The royal girt cube was a theoretical cuboid of water approximately 6 meters times 6 meters times 0.5 meters from which all other units could be derived. The Neo-Sumerians continued use of the royal girt cube as indicated by the letter of Nans issued in 2000 BCE by Gurdi. Use of the same standard continued through the Babylonian, Assyrian, and Persian empires. Length units of length are prefixed by the logogram due a convention of the archaic period counting system from which it was evolved.
Basic length was used in architecture and field division. Distance units were geodectic as distinguished from non-geodectic basic length units. Sumerian geodesy divided latitude into seven zones between equator and pole. Area The GAN2 system, G counting system evolved into area measurements. A special unit measuring brick quantity by area was called the brick garden which held 720 bricks. Capacity Capacity was measured by either the Shea System S for dry capacity or the Shea System S asterisk for wet capacity mass mass was measured by the N. System E values below are an average of weight artifacts from ER and NIPA. The plus or minus value represents one standard deviation. All values have been rounded to second digit of the standard deviation. Time in the archaic system time notation was written in the U4 system U. Multiple lunisolar calendars existed, however the civil calendar from the holy city of Nippur was adopted by Babylon as their civil calendar. The calendar of Nippur dates to 3500 BCE and was itself based on older astronomical knowledge of an uncertain origin. The main astronomical cycles used to construct the calendar were the synodic month, equinox year, and sidereal day. Relationship to other metrologies The classical Mesopotamian system formed the basis for Elamite, Hebrew, Eurasian, Hurin, Hittite, Ugaritic, Phoenician, Babylonian, Assyrian, Persian, Arabic, and Islamic metrologies. The classical Mesopotamian system also has a proportional relationship, by virtue of standardized commerce, to Bronze Age Harappan and Egyptian metrologies.